All right, let's turn to weather now. Uh, Trey, you called it a first alert weather day because uh, we just saw Chile talking about the game coming up. It could be dumped on from the sky, huh? That's right. Just for a couple hours this evening, we'll be watching the potential for thunderstorms. And because of that, the Storm Prediction Center has a level one to level two risk for severe weather in place. That is isolated to scattered severe storms. We're likely going to see development just around or just shortly after 4 p.m. And any severe threat will persist through 9 o'clock. Damaging winds, hail, quarter to half dollar as possible. And there is a very low end tornado threat as well. But greatest potential, the area we're really going to be watching is our northwestern counties mainly north and west of Pittsburgh, as that's where the best ingredients will be in place to support severe weather. Coming up through later on today, temperatures will work their way back into the upper 70s to near 80. It's mostly sunny skies for most of the day, but skies become partly cloudy by 5. And then after 6 p.m. to 7 p.m., that's when we'll start to see storms roll into the Pittsburgh metro area. And just for a couple hours this evening, could have those thunderstorms ongoing. Satellite radar picture showing most of us under a mostly clear sky. We have dry, cool and comfortable air in place this morning, but I've plotted the dew points on here and the areas that are shaded and greener where we have higher amounts of moisture in place over the Ohio Valley back in Illinois and Indiana. And as those southwest winds pick up today, we're going to gradually see an increase in the amount of moisture in the air and that will lead to some instability, not a lot, but enough to support a low wind severe weather threat. We're expecting the greatest ingredients again over our northwestern areas. You have the shear that is in place and then limited amounts of fuel. That's where we're likely going to have the strongest of storms, but you can see how that quickly steps off the farther east and south you get. So we're likely going to see a weakening trend as storms move southeast toward Pittsburgh later this evening. Nothing going on through most of the day. We're just warming up into the upper 70s and low 80s. Here are those thunderstorms forming off to the northwest across northeast Ohio, northwest PA by 4 to 5 p.m. 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. They're moving in closer, and again, you can see the these cores that will likely be in place along the I-80 corridor. That's where we could be talking about the potential for hail and damaging winds. The thunderstorms continue to work their way off to the southeast. This is by 8 p.m. So right around game time here, we're likely going to have those thunderstorms rolling through. And then after that, by 9 to 10 p.m., these storms are pushing off to the southeast toward the Laurel Highlands and the ridges, and they will be weakening as they move into drier and more stable air. Cooler air will also follow the passage of the storm system as well for this upcoming week. We are expecting highs for the next several days to be in the low to mid 60s with overnight lows and the 40s and we could even see some frost toward the middle part of this upcoming week. We're also going to be watching tropical storm Milton. This is expected to gain strength as it moves over the central Gulf of Mexico, strengthening into a major hurricane by Tuesday here as it moves north of the Yucatan Peninsula and this does pose a very serious threat to the western peninsula of Florida. We're likely going to see landfall with this coming up Wednesday afternoon. Significant catastrophic storm surge along Florida's west uh, western peninsula and very heavy rain will be a threat. So we're going to be watching that as we move into this upcoming week. A very busy weather week on the way. Not here, though. Once we get past our storm system today, we're down to 61 with some lingering clouds, a stray shower tomorrow. Low 60s will persist into this upcoming week with dry conditions.